What up guys? Let's talk a little bit about item sets. And no, I'm not talking about sleep set or some crappy sets from Dragon. Ignore this, I was just, you know, wasting my energy and doing the missions and so on. But the topic that I want to talk about is Frostbite. It's not the first time that I bring this up, but um, it's been a while since I talked about it the last time. And lately, a bunch of people have been <laughs> asking me questions and been um, like puzzled that I beat them in live arena battles by free freezing them. And you know, I told to multiple people in DMs and in my Discord that what was doing it in the battles is my White Queen's Angora's two piece frostbite. It's so uncommon item set that people often forget about this thing even existing. And I want to convince you on this video why you actually should use two-piece frostbite. Maybe not on everybody, but you could totally have multiple champions in it if you have the pieces of the gear. And why it's more relevant right now than it was a while ago and why I think it makes sense. It actually almost was kind of OP a couple years ago, but the meta shifted a little bit and champions like Sifi and so on they're very common in both offense and defense. Right now they are not, like especially in classic arena, but in live arena you will still find many situations where they don't have it, or you might have multiple buff strippers on your team, and you can actually get the debuffs on them, and it can be insanely powerful debuff. But let's first quickly take a look at the set. Actually, no, I'll, I'll look at that later. I'll show you my build. I'll show alternatives that I could consider, but. Here's the, um, and you could do this in many ways, you could even have it on Nuker, but I think the most basic way to have two-piece frostbite, and I, I'm saying two-piece, I would not go for um, four-piece or anything like that. Maybe in future if there's some new item sets, or if you're not able to make four um, six-piece stone skin on your champions, you could also do four-piece stone skin and maybe four-piece frostbite, especially if you have accessories and you could do it that way. But mainly I recommend it as two-piece set, and as you can already see from the effect that is... Yeah, it's not hidden by my <laughs> my big head. You have 15% chance to block free debuffs, and 10% chance to place free debuff on the attacker. And so basically it's like Polymorph. It has some things that makes it better than Polymorph, and on other things Polymorph is better. But in essence it works the exact same way. The main difference is that Polymorph is obviously gonna go through immunity and like stone skin and everything and just always polymorph them and it will interrupt skills so if somebody does an AoE skill and the first champion on your team procs polymorph in the team order then the other champions will not be affected by that skill. The same thing applies to Frostbite, it can be insanely OP so keep that in mind and if you get hit by, um, if Trunder does the A1, you can proc the Frostbite on the first hit of the A1, which is a double hit, and then the second hit is not even gonna land on you. It can be insanely, insanely OP. Now, Polymorph is gonna go through Immunity and Stone Skin. Frostbite, Frostbite is not going to do that, but then on the other hand, Frostbite is gonna work against everything, not just debuffs, but every type of hit on you, like let's say that, um, I don't know, enemy arbiter does A1 that doesn't do any damage and it doesn't have accuracy to land any debuffs on you, you can still proc frostbite from that and in practice it means that you can actually proc it surprisingly often even if you just have one piece of frostbite on one or couple champions and them losing a turn or cancelling their AoE skill or whatever can be so impactful that it often wins you battles and that's why everybody hates polymorphs. <laughs> that's why Drog always goes on rants about it and people want to change how the game works. And you know, Frostbite does the same thing. People just kind of forget about it and ignore it, but you can get the same effects with that as well. So often, like in the last week, it's been more than five people who DM me after battle that, you know, the frostbite was OP or was that a bug? What happened? One guy was saying that 
it was a bug that like how did I freeze him <laughs> and he, he totally forgot that frostbite set is even a thing and then I you know explained it and so on but so this is the reason why frostbite is so powerful but why do I think that frostbite is more relevant right now than it was let's say six months ago that has mainly to mainly to do with the fact that the meta has changed a lot in arena and like I said there's a lot of if we talk about live arena now and not classic arena but I think this works on both of them but if we talk about classic arena there's so many buff strippers going on right now in the meta many of the most popular champions are buff strippers if we talk about um, examples of champion Wukong would be one he's very popular both as a nuker and a support and he does buff strip meaning that you can get rid of the immunity and land the debuff then there's something like Mikage, Galatir, Rixia, many others like there's so so many buff strippers right now that are meta it wasn't a thing a while ago and it's not just that fact but um I mean that's a very big deal the fact that often often you might have multiple debuffers uh buff strippers on your team but also immunity buff itself is not as popular as it used to obviously Sifi is very common but if we talk about classic arena you're gonna find like um, I don't know two to four Sifis maximum in top 20 it's not gonna be on every single team out of top 20 like a few months ago it's only gonna be a couple of them now there's other champions that do immunity as well like um, Lazarius could do it and so on it's not like Sifi is the only one multiple popular mythical champions do it but it's not like it's not full uptime on it so it's not um it's not that devastating like back in the day Duchess and Sifi every single team would have one of them even two of them if we go like three four years back in the raid uh, meta double reviver with Sifi and Duchess was incredibly common you don't see Duchess at all anymore in classic arena you might see it uh, little bit in live arena but in um, Sifi you will see more in the classic arena but even that not so much and stuff like Maritska doesn't actually do immunity buff so the chances of you actually landing that um, effect are not bad at all and even if let's say that enemy has like some kind of cleanser or passive that cleanses them even if they might in some situations be able to cleanse it on let's say Angora it's still very impactful like I said because if this champion is high up in your team order and enemy does an AoE skill it's gonna interrupt the skill meaning that you're not taking the damage you're not taking the debuffs it's just insanely impactful and ever since we got the stone skin accessories which is a relatively new thing you can still go for 6p stone skin while having 2-piece Frostbite. I think this is kind of the cherry on top why you totally should build Frostbite. Because if the options were that you have 6-piece Stone Skin or you don't and you have Frostbite, then I wouldn't advise Frostbite. But now the meta has shifted and you can have both of them. Now, obviously this is not easy build to pull off. You can't do it on every champion, but you probably don't have that much Frostbite anyway, so you couldn't couldn't put that in in every single champion on your account in the first place but let's say on couple champions it could be supports it could even be nukers let's say that on a support situation like i have on my angora that you can get six piece stone skin using two or more accessories it would be insanely good filler set i would even consider putting it on nukers i actually have a couple good nuker pieces on frostbite but I would, like, um, if you have the option to do 4p Savage or Lethal and 4p Stone Skin, I wouldn't really sacrifice that for 2p Frostbite on a Nuker, because you do lose damage for it and the utility is so big. But if you can't do Stone Skin and your choices are like two like, uh, random sets or offense pieces or maybe 2p Cruel, like, 2p scroll is super good, don't get me wrong, but if it's gonna be 2p scroll with 4p uh, lethal, 
you could consider Frostbite, especially if you have maybe really good pieces on Frostbite for 2P set. And, um, you know, maybe on HP and like non attack scaling champions, they would get less benefit out of it. And then there's champions like Wukong or Siegfrund or Rotos that are gonna get 50% or more ignore defense from their like abilities. And when you pair that with Savage or Lethal and Helm Smasher Mastery, you're already at 100% ignore defense. In those situations, the 2P scroll isn't that OP anymore anyway. So I would highly recommend going for Frostbite. The annoying part is that it's kind of not super easy to boss to farm unless you have very specific good team for it. I'm running like um, Dapul, Kalvalax, Xavia and Drekstar. Is there one more champion in it? But basically I'm just one-shotting the waves with the poison from the Kalvalaxes. I know it's like, it's literally the best possible team on it, but we one-shot the waves, then everybody else dies and then Drekstar solos the boss. It's like two minute battle for me. For most people it's gonna be very long battle because the boss is just annoying and it keeps freezing you and so on. But I would definitely farm it. I don't think the other sets on that rotation are that big deal either. I think it's super OP, super underrated, you totally should go for it. I actually happened to get, um, I think, one one good piece on the last rotation. I'm not using it yet, but I'm actually gonna put it on my Angora. Basically, I got an upgrade on chest. Where is it? Um... Oh yeah, this chest piece. Oh, oh fuck. You can't see it, pa pardon me. So, um, yeah, I got this on the last rotation. It's the perfect piece for support. It has double roll on speed and defense and even has accuracy subset. Only issue is that uh, I haven't ascended it with uh, HP yet. I need to chaos dust it, but I'm gonna switch her to it. I have a couple other champions on it as well, so I would, um, I would advise to you to do it too. These boots are not... They're okay. I mean, they're good, you know. I'm pretty, you know, well geared. So some people might be kind of cringing if I say that this is not that good boots. I have better ones, just not on Frostbite. I think after I get this chest uh, ascended, I'm actually gonna steal stone skin boots from my Duchess, which are much better than these boots. And I'm gonna have big upgrade on my Angora set. But yeah, th th those are my thoughts. For once, we have like a short video, not super long one. Somebody was challenging me to make one video that is less than 10 minutes. I don't know if we made made it on this video, but here are some, uh, some of my opinions about the raid meta for you to think about. Just food for thought. I mean, obviously it depends on champions you have and what gear you have. It's not like everybody can copy this and it's not like you couldn't build it on other ways, but I do recommend this. Also, as a side note, I probably should have mentioned this before, but it just came up to my mind. Obviously, I could do some other builds. I mean, let me bring up the Duchess build here, uh, the Angora build. Uh, where can I hide myself? So obviously, as you can see, it's pretty good build. We're like 135k HP, kind of tanky, 255 speed, kind of fast. Not super fast or tanky on either one of them, or de depends on your account level. Of course, 135k is tanky, but for for instance, my Duchess, which is in Bolster and Stone Skin, it's like 160k HP. That's pretty much as tanky that you can get. I could get like around um, 10k more HP, also because I think those gear pieces happen to be slightly better. But I could get around 10k more HP if I put it on like 2-piece Immortal instead of Frostbite. I do happen to have really good pieces on Immortal too. And Immortal is a very good set, so I do recommend to use that one too. It kind of depends. Maybe you only have Immortal 2-piece set or only Frostbite. It really depends what you have on your account. But yeah, I have a couple okay and really good pieces on this. I could put something like these boots, would be great. 
and you could get the 15% HP and 3% heal every turn. That's good too, but another reason relevant to this current meta, why I kind of um, am going away from this, I used to have my Angora in two-piece Immortal maybe like uh, three months ago, before Narsus release. But the thing is that now with Narsus and the new Mythical Champions and so on, oft often um, the damage is so high that in the right conditions you're pretty much getting one shot anyway, unless you have stone skin or some kind of buffs or they have debuffs on themselves. But since Narsus ignores passives and then there's champions like George it that just do so bonkers damage that uh, nothing matters apart from like stone skin. But uh, often if I have 10k more HP on Angora, she's still getting one shot in those situations. Like let's say enemy has like five buffs on everybody and Taras does like 400,000 damage on the AoE. It doesn't matter if my Angora is like 130k HP or 150k HP, it's most likely gonna die in either case. Depends of course, you know, it always depends on the specific battle and so on. But if it's often gonna get one shot anyway, if you get hit by the maximum possible damage, I would rather gamble on the odds that maybe you can get one random two-piece frostbite proc that interrupts the enemy AoE or something like that, interrupts maybe the um, like Galatir or Krixia lockout, that could be super strong. That, that one Frostbite proc can literally win you the battle in both Live Arena and Classic Arena, and it surprisingly often does win battles for me, and pretty much every time it happens, <laughs> I get messages about it, like people are laughing at it, or they're angry or they are wondering if it's a bug or what what it is but since it's not very common and people often forget about it or don't even know about that option it always uh, arouses discussion when it happens so I wanted to bring it up to you guys just some food for thought maybe you want to consider this and see if you happen to have some frostbite uh, items on your inventory but yeah that's it for this video I hope you found it helpful, interesting, have a nice day and see ya.